the whole the whole city was a playground. I mean, we played out in the street, and and it was fine. You know, it's funny because it was much more dangerous then the city than it is now. Yet all the kids played in the street until dark. We kept skateboarding alive. You know, no skate shops, no nothing, no contests, no photos, none. Fuck that. I mean, I don't want to sound emotional, but we were the dying breed to survive. I got to participate in the birth of something. Um, you know, it was still being created. We were out in the streets and we were making it happen. No longer was the city just a two-dimensional plane. It now became a three-dimensional all-around environment in which obstacles and barriers, steps and ledges, handrails and curbs could be ollied onto, over and down. You know, and Gons was like, I can grind this. And everyone was like, no you can't. And like, sure enough, man, he came back and, and ground it. I think that may be the first time someone ever 50-50 to handrailing was right here. You see that? No, this is this is history. That's like four feet high. That's yeah. a backside 180 alley of a bench. And this is before this is before. That's easy, 8788. Yeah. Easy. It's somewhere there, yeah. 8788. Yeah, that's still with a, a hand cut board. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking. That's what I'm, I'm talking about power, I'm talking about raw. Show Chef he shut skateboards. Yo. In the nineties it was like for New York City, you know, and there's plazas everywhere. We had endless terrain. We had stairs, banks, handrails. It wasn't illegal, it wasn't messing up the property, and the security guards didn't even know what to do. I don't even know if they had security guards. So it was, it was open game everywhere. It was just like plazas for days. Heck, we didn't give a fuck with what you did, what stocks you stole. We want to skate the ledge. We don't care about whatever you're doing, what you're doing in your office. This is what we care about, you know? And not getting caught by a security guard. A lot of people too are realizing like Manhattan's not the only place to go skating in New York. And that's the best thing too, man. It always it just keeps going back to like finding new shit. You'll be like, all right, let's go out, let's go out to this spot way out on Utica Avenue. You're like, alright, and then instead of getting off at the train stop that's closest, you maybe you would take one farther out or get off one early and just try to look around. You find you go to the same spot, but you'll find new ten new spots on the way there. You know?